Welcome to part one of uh, this 3ds Max tutorial. I'm using version 12, but you can use any version you like. This program or this tutorial is in intended for my grade 11 animation course. So I'm going to be doing a few things in a specific way um, to make things easier, but it's, it's great for any beginner. Now I assume at this point that you know where most of the buttons are in Max and that you've gone through some of the basic tutorials. Um, what we're going to do is start off in the perspective, right click on it so that it's yellow, okay? And uh, over in your creation panel, under geometry, click box. We're going to go to keyboard entry, and length of this box is going to be, uh, let's say, 14. Width is going to be, I don't know, let's say 20. And the height is going to be negative 1. This creates a box, let's create button. This creates a box on the 0, 0 plane, on the, right on the grid, so that the top surface of the box is on the grid. Um, and now we can zoom extents all, and just bring that up. Um, and next thing we're going to do is make a teapot, okay? And uh, we can do this in any viewport, really. I'm just going to drag it in my perspective view so it's about the right size. Now, I'm going to make this about realistic size. Now, I don't know exactly. I'm just doing this by, by eye. But um, my radius could, should probably be somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of 3.5. Um, I think that's pretty good. A 7-inch teapot's not so bad. Uh, and segments, let's increase that, all right? Let's, uh, let's give it 12 segments. That'll make it nice and smooth, okay? This is going to be one of our main objects for this. Great. Let's go to the front viewport now, right-click on it, and let's maximize this view. Uh, you can hit Alt-W to maximize it, or you can go in the bottom right corner and click on the Maximize Viewport. Next, you're going to take your pan view, which is the little hand, and move that around so you can see a nice clear view of the side of the teapot with a little bit of space left over. Here we're going to make a teacup. Um, go to your shapes. So we're under create. Okay, and to the right of create you have shapes. Line is what we want. Now when you start drawing a line, you draw it by vertex points. We're going to start um, sort of in the center at, the, at the, the bottom of the cup. And what we're going to do is a half profile. We're going to wind up lathing this object around. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just follow along and you'll see it at the end. Um, maybe we'll do a really quick version first. Here's the lathe. Um, I'm going to do a, a lathe that just looks like this for now, just so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay. So this is my half view. When I'm done that, I'm going to add a modifier to it, which is the lathe modifier. And I'm going to spin it around. And so, just so you can see what it looks like, this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's going to sort of make a cup that way. Okay, now we're going to we're going to do that a little bit better. Let's try that again. So I'll go to my front view, and now we'll do it for real this time. Um, I'm going to go back into wireframe because that's how I like to work. I'm going to delete this original shape. Uh, start by going to your line tool. So create shapes line. What we're going to do is uh, make a pretty simple shape. And it's going to look something like this. We're going to go one, two. This is the lip of my cup. Back down again. And then we need sort of like the little foot of the cup. And we can close it. Yes. Okay. Now, it's not exactly perfect. I'm going to zoom extents all so I can see it a little bit uh, better. Zoom extents selected. Okay. So I can, that's a pretty good look at my, my teacup. Uh, from here, though, I can go to the modifier panel. And I can open up line, and I can choose a vertex. And here I can see, I get these little points. These are my vertices. And I can now manipulate those one at a time. Along my top toolbar, I can go to Select and Move, the four arrows. And I'm going to take these ones here, right-click on these vertex points, and make them smooth. Okay, and that's going to start. And that one too, smooth. Okay, and that's going to sort of give me a bit of a smoother line. Now here's the inside of the cup. I can smooth that one out. Okay. I'm not too concerned about the inside of the cup. This is this is just a little tester project. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to probably bezier corner. I'm going to move it so it's straight. There we go. So we have a nice little bowl of the cup. Uh, here, this one, we want to smooth it out as well and maybe move it around. Great. And that's probably good enough for now. This might be a little far, so I'm going to just grab them and, and move them. Remember, what I'm trying to make here is a teacup, kind of like a china teacup. And this looks pretty good. Uh, let's see how it works. I'm going to turn off sub-object vertex and go to the modifier list, drop down, 
and uh, we're going to go down to the lathes. Okay, and it's lathing, so it's spinning this shape around an axis. Right now, it's spinning it around right here where this Y axis is. Um, I want it to go max, which will make it spin around the outside of my shape. And that actually looks pretty good. Um, let's just zoom back a little bit so I can see everything. Zoom extends all. Beautiful. There's my lathed teacup. If you'd like to see what it looks like, I'm going to hit the P key in for, for uh, perspective, and uh, I'm going to look at it. And oh, I can see a nice little issue that I have with my lathe teacup. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I thought my normals were flipped, but maybe not. We'll have to see uh, in the render. We'll, we'll worry about that later on, I suppose. Yeah, looking okay so far. That's shaded. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to wireframe. Go back to my front viewport. Zoom in again. <clears throat> Next thing I have to do is make a, uh, a, a saucer for the teacup. And we're going to make it the exact same way as you just made the, the teacup. So again, go to Create, Shapes, Line. I'm going to zoom into that teacup again just so I can see a little bit better. I'm going to start right in the center. And I'm going to go out here. And then I'll make a little slight angle on it. Go back, 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 and up. Okay, I'll just pull back a little bit so you can see my shape. There it is. I'll even move it down for you. Okay, that's my overall shape. Now I'm going to smooth that out. So again, modify panel, vertex, uh, go th through and smooth some of these things out. Um, I'm not going to get into using anything too funky yet, or uh, but you're welcome to try the Bezier in the Bezier corner. They work a little bit differently if you're not used to uh, if you're not used to vector software. But that's not so bad. This is. This isn't so good. I'm gonna uh, let's let's fix this. Okay, I, I find that this is a little too sharp over here. Uh, I'm gonna I can switch it over to Bezier, and I can move this handle, right, a little bit, and you can see what that does is it sort of it allows me to adjust the tangents coming in and out. Uh, so there we go. That's a little bit smoother. It's not quite so sharp. I'm happy with that. Turn off sub object. Go into my modifier panel. L for lathe, there it is, lathe it, we're going to go around max, and uh, I think it's going to be just about perfect. Okay, last little piece before we uh, go any further. Um, both my uh, saucer and my uh, cup might be a little bit angular, so I think I increased the segments on this to 12. What I think I want to do here is select my saucer and change the segments, I don't know, let's go 24. And I think I'll probably go to my cup and also in the modifier panel, change my segments to 24. Makes it a little bit smoother, a little bit nicer. Okay, very last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to loft a little T-handle. So uh, switch to your front viewport, F on the keyboard. There it is, zoom right in there. Um, I'm going to select my object and uh, let's just zoom right in on it. There are other ways of doing this, I'm just going to do it this way for now. I'm going to go to my creation panel and line, and uh, I'm going to switch over to wireframe, just so I can see. Um, I'm going to make a handle using this line, very simply, one, two, three, four, five points. Okay, very simple line, right click to X that. Okay, now I'm going to go modify it to smooth it out. Vertex, okay, so I'm just going to go to these vertex points, right click on those vertex points, and I'm just going to smooth these three. Not going to worry about the front points or the end point, and there's actually a reason for that. Um, something Max isn't always so good with is, uh, yeah, I might do it something like this. Max isn't always so good with um, uh, Bezier's on the ends of lines that are going to be lathed, so I'm going to try lathing this. Uh, okay, that looks okay. Good enough. Good enough for now. Good, okay. Next thing I want to do is go to create again. This time I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to make a nice little circle, just like that, okay. Um, now the circle is not perfect. Right click on the circle and convert to editable spline. This just turns it into a line so you have those vertex points to deal with again. And I'm going to take this top vertex point and push it down and the bottom vertex point and push it up to make it sort of like a um, a flat oval racetrack. Now I can 
turn off editable spline. Now what we're going to do is loft this. So grab your line, okay, that's the handle, and go to create geometry, first button. From standard primitives, go down to compound objects, and we're going to choose the loft function. Okay, I'm going to click on get shape, and I'm going to click on this shape right here. All right, now you can see what's going on here. Um, I'll just shade that out. Uh, it lofted that shape, so it sent that shape along. Whoops, it sent that shape along, but it actually sent it in the wrong direction for me. You can see it made it sort of flat. All right. What I want to do is I'm actually going to turn this shape. So I'm going to modify, and I'm going to go to. Uh, well, there's a bunch of ways I could do it. I think I can do it through. Uh, sorry my shape. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'll just do it on deformation. So I'm just going to go to deformations, open that up, and uh, oh, here we go, twist. Okay, so right now the twist is zero. Uh, I guess I want to twist, uh, what, 90 degrees, right? So I'm going to take this first point, I'm just going to move it up, and you can see there's a number in the bottom, and it's going to go to, well, I can even type it in there, 90. Beautiful, and then go to that end point and type it in right there, 90. There we go, and close that down. All right, and that's deformed that beautifully. Okay, um, and you can see my you can see my my saucer now. I I actually have a, a problem with my cup. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it's it's flipped inside out, um, and I wasn't sure about that. Sometimes it's hard to see. But one thing that I'm going to do is uh, select my cup, and um, uh, what I'm going to have to do with it is is flip the normals on it. So I can the little button right here that says flip normals. And hopefully that just that worked and, and fixed it up. Um, yeah, I think that I think that did it. You may have to flip normals, okay? And flip normals just means that it drew it inside out, which isn't a big deal because it's one button and it's right side in. Uh, so, at the end of this tutorial, you should have a teacup, and you should have a little tray, and you should have a uh, a kettle or a little teapot, and you should be ready for step two. So come back for tutorial number two. We'll finish this off. Uh, tutorial number three, we'll get into some other things. See you later.